Hi, I'm Catherine, one of the PCC librarians. Today, I'm going to introduce you to library databases. After this video, you will be able to explain what a library database is, identify the benefits of searching for information in library databases, and access PCC libraries databases. What is a database? Well, a database is a collection of data or information organized for rapid search and retrieval. And what do library databases contain? Mostly articles, newspaper, magazine, and scholarly journal articles, as well as eBooks, streaming videos, images, statistics, radio and podcast recordings, and more. What are the benefits of using library databases? First, using library databases can help you meet instructors' expectations for research papers and projects and get better grades. Many assignments may require you to find information in library databases, so it's smart to get comfortable using them. Besides, databases contain exclusive content that isn't available on the open internet. Databases can help you save money, especially on scholarly journal articles, which can be very expensive to access. As a PCC student, you have free access to more than 100 databases. The library subscribes to these resources on your behalf, so you should never pay for an article. If you hit a paywall during re research, get help from a librarian. Library databases allow you to access reliable, ad-free information that may be less biased and more authoritative than information found on commercial websites. Here's an example of two sources on the topic of internet addiction disorder treatment. The one on the left is a website for a rehabilitation facility, and the one on the right is a scholarly journal article from a database. When you're evaluating a source, Think about the author's purpose in publishing the information. The rehab center has a financial stake in convincing visitors they may need treatment for internet addiction disorder, so the information it provides on its website could be biased. In contrast, the authors of the database article don't have financial incentives that might limit their objectivity. Their purpose in publishing this article is simply to inform readers of the results of their research. In addition, information that you find in library databases has gone through an editing process, so you can generally feel more confident about its credibility. Databases have powerful filters that can make your research more effective and efficient. Quickly limit your search results to the most up-to-date sources with the publication date filter, or filter by source type when you're looking for a specific type of article, such as a magazine, newspaper, or scholarly journal article. Saving and citing your sources is simple when you use the handy tools embedded in library databases. When you find an article that looks promising, save it to your Google Drive or email it to yourself. Use the citation tool to generate citations in a variety of styles, such as MLA and APA. Copy and paste the citations into your works cited or references list and you'll be well on your way. Finally, library databases allow you to conduct research from anywhere, anytime. You don't have to be at the PCC library or even on campus to access these resources. No matter where you are, Library databases are available to you 24 seven. When accessing databases from off campus, you'll just need your Lancer Point login and password in order to verify that you're a PCC student. Now that you know a few of the many benefits of using library databases, I hope you're feeling enthusiastic about exploring some of them. You may be asking, where do I find these amazing resources? You'll start at the PCC Library homepage, pasadena.edu slash library. Let's go there now. This is the library homepage. If you're interested in searching in library databases, 
scroll down till you see the big red bar going across the screen. Look for the databases icon and click on it. This will take you to an alphabetical list of 108 databases that we subscribe to on your behalf. If you're not sure which database to look at first, check out the handy video embedded on this page, which will give you some pointers on navigating our databases list. You can also chat with a librarian 24 seven and we can advise you on the best way to search in our library databases. Finally, if you need any type of assistance, you can find all the different ways you have of reaching librarians through the Ask a Librarian link on our homepage. Best of luck with your research and thanks for watching.